Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to another StarCraft 2 Daily Masters cast. Going to be checking out an awesome PVZ between Mr. Jim up the top left side of the map. He is 19 years of age from China, plays for the Invictus Gaming Team, and his opponent, of course, the one and only Mr. Jadong up the top right side of the map, 24 years of age from South Korea. Plays for Evil Geniuses, and he's been in that team like forever, man. Um, almost two years now, so they must be very, very happy with all the work that he's doing. And definitely he was ripping it up all last year, getting some great performance results. So we'll see exactly what happens here, um, whether Jim can uh, take this out or whether Jadong will just... It's around a 32, man. WCS America um, Season 2. So, yeah, it's unknown what sort of game this is going to be. I was just reading, though, the uh, highlights of Jim's profile on Liquipedia, and it does sound like he is a force to be reckoned with. Um, maybe not quite as good as Jadon, but I don't think he's a walkover by any stretch of the imagination. So, we'll have to see exactly how he performs in this game. Uh, we do have a very, very fast third base from Mr. Jadon coming up. So, looking good there, and yeah, sending a bunch of lings all over the place just for a bit of fun. Mothership Core finally took out that little brick there, but unfortunately did not get a kill for it. So it's going to try and get some kills on lings instead, but Jadong does get it out of there just in time. And so far it's going pretty good for both players. We've got three bases for Jadong, two for Jim, which is fairly nice stuff. And yeah, just sort of trucking along here. Hmm, bunch of gateways coming up. Yeah, not really much to talk about here. I actually thought this would be um, a little bit more crazy at the start because it is a fairly short game. Yeah, I didn't want to cast a short game, but I'm going through the round of 32 and I'm saying, all right, I want to cast everybody playing a game. Like, everybody that's in the Premier League round of 32, I want to cast them playing a game. And unfortunately, when I got up to this bracket, it's like bracket E or bracket D or something like that, it was played out in such a manner that this was the longest game I could actually get. So I could actually cast everybody, because I think... Um, yeah, I think Jim played against one other person. But if he, if I cast a game between that person, then the other two people didn't have a game between them. So it kind of didn't work out. But regardless, still going to be checking out this game. Looks like Jim getting a very, very fast Immortal and a bunch of gateways. So... Looks like he's not going to sit around, go for the three base macro. He's looking to do some damage on two bases, would be my guess. Because you go, remember, it's only a seven and a half minute mark. We've already got an immortal being chrono boost out. We've got, uh, uh, what do we got? After uh, structures, we got three gates. Did I just see three more coming out? Yes, I did. So it's going to be a total of one, two, three, four, five, six gates. So it's almost a seven base. Um, a seven gate off two base push, but there's actually a six gate with a robo facility as well with two immortals. So that is going to be a hell of a lot of pressure. And whether or not Jadong is ready for it, I do not know. He's getting the roaches out. And this is sort of like the game we saw yesterday, I think. Who was it again? Oh, it was Top versus... Oh, I can't remember who the other guy's name was. It's Top versus somebody else. It's in my folder. Uh, top versus Check. that's it. So it was Mr. Top versus Mr. Check, and Top tried to go out nice and early, and Check actually had a ton of roaches, but Top just had Mass Stalker with um, no Immortals, so he didn't really have a chance against Mass Roach, but we can see that Jim definitely has a bunch of Immortals. He's facing a lot of roaches here, though, completely surrounded, but the Force Fields are doing a pretty good job. The Ling's running in there trying to get the Immortals down, not doing the best of jobs, and the Force Fields, yes, doing a great job. But he's turned around to these forces. I think he should have taken care of these guys first because they were a lot more of a threat. And, oh, the Warp Prism Micro on the Immortals. It is so freaking good, man. Warp Prism Micro on the Immortals. I cannot say enough good things about how insane that tactic is. And Jim definitely doing a great job here. He's continuing to be plagued by Lings, which, of course, is not good for Immortals or Stalkers. But he's warping out Zealots, which is very good. Bunch of Roaches coming at the backside. Do force him away. A bunch of workers coming out as well. I'm not sure what they were trying to do, but I'm guessing this is Jadong's last ditched attempt. 
to sort of hold off here. I don't think it's going to work though. I mean, Jim, he's taking hits, but he's dishing them out twice as good. And he looks extremely strong here. Extremely strong. I do not think that Zhedong is going to be able to stop this offensive. Not with Roaches or Lings. He needs something else. He needs Hydras, but there's no way he's going to get Hydras at this stage of the game. It's too late. He's too far up against the wall. And that is it. There's the GD. <laughs> the GG from Mr. Zhedong. And a sensationally fast attack from Mr. Jim there. It was just... Just beautiful. And I think that's what Top was trying to do yesterday against Czech. It just didn't work out because he didn't have the Immortals. But in this game, Jim pulled it off. Oh, flawlessly, man. Absolutely flawlessly. And the Warp Prism, of course. Warp Prism, Immortal Micro. Just great play. So if you, if you want to kill a Zerg player, or maybe even any player... But yeah, it definitely works against a Zerg, and against a Zerg player like Jadong, no less. This is a tactic you have got to investigate. Alright, so you start off with like three gateways, you get the Robo Facility, start Chrono Boosting out two Immortals, get three more w w gateways, move off with two bases, You've oh, he's only got like 35 Harvesters, but somehow he made it work, and just go nuts! The two Immortals, you've got to have that War Prism Micro as well, and just, oh man, it was so sweet. And the fact that he, he, all he had really had to do was just build extra zealots when he started to see the links coming out across the map. Um, yeah, it may not have worked if Jadong went for a, uh, a less risky uh, two-base play. But even then, I still don't know if it would have worked. I mean, maybe mass spine crawlers would have been the only thing that could have slowed this down. Because you know at the 10 minute mark that Jadong was never going to have Hydras. And I think Hydras are 100% what's necessary to break this aggressive stance, but it's just too fast. It's just way too fast. So that's it, game done, and what a tactic from Mr. Jim, man. I absolutely loved this tactic, and yes, I hope you guys did too. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another game. Stay tuned for that.